guys, welcome to the channel. So today we have a 40-inch TV from Acer, and it comes with Android TV 11. Uh, it seems to be pretty good, uh, but let's check it out. And at this price point, uh, which is really really attractive, let's see. So this is the TV. I have unboxed it and installed it. Uh, as you can see, there is some branding over here which says Acer. Uh, to go over the specs, this is the 40 inch model. So you have uh, a pretty good size uh, for a living room, I would say. Uh, it has got a 24 watt sound system. Uh, it comes with Dolby Atmos. It's got Android 11, which is, which is really good. Uh, Android TV 11. It's got a Chromecast built in. Um, obviously it has uh, Google software so you can see all of that over there, we'll, we'll get into that. Uh, plus it has got some things which are like it's got HDR10 plus and all of that. Um, it connects to 5 gigahertz as well as 2.4 gigahertz. So uh, pretty good there. Um, if I talk about the design, they say that it is a bezel-less design. Uh, if you see, um, there is a slight bezel but it is too small to be noticed. If I go here, maybe you will see better. It's very, very, very thin, the bezel. So overall, uh, it's pretty good. I think it is a nice setup altogether. I've still not removed this, I've just set it up. If you see over here, uh, the TV is pretty thin. Uh, it's not very fat as well. At the back, uh, you have nothing over here on this side. You can wall mount it through uh, these things over here, but apart from that, if I go on to the other side, uh, there you will be able to see uh, the ports which are there. So you've got two USB ports, one LAN port, then you have your normal cable out, uh, you have your video, HDMI, two HDMIs and you've got your aux. So all of that is here on this side. So if you are to even wall mount it, uh, it should be fine because the connections are from the side. Now the installation is pretty easy. Uh, these come obviously with the TV and if they are just two two screws each and you can actually plug it in and you'll be fine. Uh, overall, if I if I say from a distance of about 10 feet, uh, approximately 10 feet, the TV seems pretty okay. But I expected a clearer uh, display altogether. A uh, 40 inch display is good in my opinion but if you have a certain uh, you know expectation in terms of the clarity this TV does not go above 1080p it's it's pure HD ready it's not more than that so if you're expecting extreme clarity that's not going to uh, be there for you now this is the remote uh, it's a pretty nice uh, compact remote you've got your usual power on uh, mute and all of that but the good part is that you have got this smart button. Now, as soon as I click that, you get your music, fast cast, sleep timer and night mode. Now, the fast cast is the good part. So this has got inbuilt uh, airplay uh, function as well. So along with Chromecast, it has even got airplay, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, so you can actually uh, cast your Apple devices like your iPad, your iPhone Mac directly onto your TV without uh, you know uh, it requiring to be connected through um, your Apple TV or or it being a Samsung for that matter because Samsung has got inbuilt AirPlay. Now, if I if I if I talk about the remote further, uh, you have four dedicated uh, keys: one for Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, and uh, Disney plus Hotstar. So that's there. Apart from that, you have your uh, Google button. So if I press that, it takes some time to respond. Google Assistant is starting, but after that it works. Then, uh, yeah, more or less, it's pretty good. Uh, if I press on settings, you'll be able to see all these kind of functions like uh, you can obviously decide the external inputs. Uh, you can you can uh, toggle up with the uh, picture mode and everything. So I think pretty much I have I, I have really uh, gone into depth with respect to this. I've even increased the uh, sharpness a little bit. 
I have uh, put on the 3D noise reduction. All of that is there, but then also the sharpness is not that great. If I if I take it a little closer, you'll come to know. Uh, it is a little pixely uh, for my taste, but maybe uh, if you are coming for it from a TV which is uh, not HD or something, then this would both could do for you. Now, at the at a price point of nineteen thousand uh, plus whatever discounts you get, I think it is an absolutely good buy. Uh, it is very good in terms of uh, how the uh, overall functioning is. So I've been using it for almost a week now, and I think um, it has done pretty well. So you have all these functions which are there. So you can actually turn on, uh, you know, uh, digital, uh, you know, uh, your Dolby Atmos and everything. So if I if I want, I can actually turn on everything and enjoy the Dolby part of it. So that's there. Apart from that, uh, so sound is good. I'll I'll make you hear it as well. Apart from that, if I look at some picture quality, uh, let's look at a video of mine as well, uh, mine only, and you'll come to know how it is. So I have turned on a video of mine, and as you can see, if I go on to the settings part, uh, the quality is not more than uh, 1080p. So even if I put it at 1080p, this is what you get. Let me play it now for you, and I'll also turn off the volume so that you can hear the speakers as well. So today's video is. Uh, Sad because I lost my phone and uh, I really don't know what to do. But I have some tips for you. So you can actually uh, change the mode as well. So from movie to standard, hey guys, you can welcome to the channel. So today uh, we're going to see something really, really useful. So you can do that as well, uh, and it really works. Uh, uh, the setup really works. So. If I want to change the volume, uh, the mode I just click on the volume button, uh, which obviously increases decreases the volume. Uh, one second. Yeah, so it increases decreases the volume, and I go on here and I can just select on movie. Uh, right now we are watching a video, so movie sounds to be good. Now let me play this. Have you ever 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 lost your phone, or has your phone ever been stolen? If yes. Then this is the video for you, or might as well watch it because if it gets lost, then you would be sad about it. So let's get into the video, and these are very very easy settings which you should turn on right now for your phone never to get lost or stolen. Let's get it. So here we have the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is obviously an iOS device, and here we have the Oppo A74 5G, which is an Android device. Now. Uh, I'm going to show you some settings which you should keep in mind. This is very important because your phone might actually get lost, and you would not even be able to track it. Now, this is a very so the speakers are really good, very bass heavy, and I must say the uh, toggle for uh, what content you're watching really helps. So if you're watching a movie, you should definitely set this up if you have this TV. Uh, it really helps in uh, getting the overall sound quality to be really really good. Uh, apart from that, I think it's a good TV uh, overall. Uh, the sound is good. Everything else is good. Um, I highly recommend this at this price point. It is absolutely amazing to own this TV. So, um, if you want really good picture quality, I would say uh, go for a 4K. Uh, don't go for a 1080p because somewhere 1080p TVs are uh, kind of uh, not there yet. Um, and you might feel that okay, uh, you know that there is that there is a slight content issue. It's not actually the content; it is the TV by default. So remember that. But apart from that, this TV is really good for for people coming from uh, 1080p and upgrading to 1080p. This TV has a lot of functionality, and it is absolutely brilliant. So highly recommend this one. And as usual. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to the channel. Let me know down in the comment section if you have any doubts regarding this TV or some other TV, and I'll be there to uh, answer you in the comment section.